If you have ever been involved in SAP projects, you probably realize that your SAP system is connected to many different EDI and B2B partners. For example, the companies that buy from you without having to call you or exchange emails. Or third-party systems, like for example your logistics provider. And these connections are how big SAP customers receive and process most of their sales orders. So it's crucial to make sure that these connections and integrations are up and running, especially when you are making any sort of changes to your system. But what we see time and time again at INT4 is that those EDI and B2B partners that send you those orders and enable you to run your most important business processes are not available when it comes to testing. Or at least, not in the capacity that you need from them to test properly your SAP system after you have made some changes. Because if you're running an SAP project, other companies are simply not part of it. So they do not have an incentive to be available for you whenever you need them. Even if they are available, quite often we can see that in their test environment, the test data is not exactly as you would expect. And because of that, a lot of companies struggle with testing complex SAP business processes, especially the ones that are highly integrated with other business systems or partners. And of course, the sheer number of those partners and systems is an important factor, since there are just so many of them. It's not unlikely to see an enterprise having over thousands of these connections. So what do most companies do right now to work around this? Well, despite the fact that under normal circumstances, most sales orders are entered through electronic data interchange, when it comes to testing, most companies are doing something that in real life is only done as a rare exception. They create those messages manually. So, as of right now, SAP developers and functional consultants need to prepare and execute these test cases by hand, which, despite their competences, comes at a cost. First of all, it's an extremely time-consuming process. Let's say that you have 500 interfaces to test, and you would like to test each of those with, let's say, 10 different variations of test cases. That would mean having to manually create 5,000 test cases. And if we assume that one test case preparation takes 30 minutes, we end up with a whopping 2,500 hours of time needed for test cases preparation. And we haven't talked about the execution yet. Naturally, for many projects, that kind of testing resources will not be available. So frequently, Companies that do this manually need to cut the testing scope, which results in reduced system quality. And speaking of quality, creating test cases manually is a subject to human error. Typos or simple mistakes can happen to all of us. Well, let's ask the big question then. If your partners or third-party systems are not exactly available for you when it comes to testing, and manual test cases creation and execution is simply inefficient, time-consuming, and doesn't guarantee system quality, what can you do? And the answer that I would like to suggest is to use SAP service virtualization. And to explain this concept in the simplest term, your partners under normal circumstances would send you messages in the electronic format. So instead of asking to send those messages by them, you can do it by yourself, by simulating the partners and third-party systems with a click of a button. And that functionality is part of INT4 Suite, a powerful API testing tool that allows you to test your SAP integrations easier and faster while increasing the testing coverage and system quality. It is the tool designed specifically for SAP that allows you to reuse your previously exchanged messages to easily create thousands of high-quality, real-like test cases and execute them, either manually or in some cases automatically, to speed up the testing. 
because we believe that your ability to test shouldn't be dependent on the third-party resources that may or may not be available when you need them. And gaining ability to quickly and independently test SAP integration is the great benefit for some of the largest SAP customers that have achieved it with int for suite If you would like to learn more about the concept and implementation of SAP service virtualization, make sure to click the link at the top of the description for a free SAP learning course that explains this concept in a structured and easy way to understand it. So if you are looking to avoid SAP project delays while simultaneously increasing the quality, it's definitely a resource for you. I hope to see you there.